This is a demonstration video showing the reduction of iron oxide using hydrogen gas. Iron oxide can occur in multiple states. In this demonstration we're going to be reducing hematite, which appears reddish-orange in color. If we use a permanent magnet to compare the magnetic properties of hematite with an iron nail, and we can see there's a difference. The iron nail is strongly attracted to the permanent magnet as the iron nail exhibits ferromagnetism whereas the hematite is weakly attracted to the permanent magnet as hematite is weakly antiferromagnetic. To show the hydrogen reduction of iron oxide we've loaded some hematite into a Pyrex reduction tube and we've loaded hydrogen through the tube for about 30 seconds before lighting the end to safely burn off any excess hydrogen. Now if we hold a permanent magnet next to a hematite, one more time we can see there isn't really any interaction between the hematite and the permanent magnet. The hydrogen, by the way, was generated from our electrolyzer. Now if we use a gas torch to supply some heat to the reaction, we can see that as we heat our hematite under a flow of hydrogen, it changes from a brick red color to dark black in color and this color change corresponds to a change in the state of the iron. If we look towards the end of our reduction tube we can see some water has condensed and this is one of the products of the hydrogen reduction of iron oxide. And once our product has cooled, if we hold a permanent magnet next to our iron we can now see that there is a very strong attraction between the permanent magnet and iron. This is because iron is ferromagnetic so using hydrogen we have successfully managed to reduce hematite to iron. Thanks for watching.